Oh, oh my God. What a crazy dream. Who, who would do something like that? Ooh, that was rough. Ooh, thank God I woke up, man. Ooh, but it's time. Time to make an episode. Hey, hey, guys. <laughs> How you doing? I hope you're doing fine. Um, I'm ready to strike back. Um, but first... <laughs> The fan art of the week. Amazing thumbnail art by Fluffy, aka MSP Tunes. Check this out. <laughs> oh man, I love this piece so much. Like, uh, you know, Fluffy or MSP managed to capture all the emotions I went through <laughs> when they blew up the tunnel bore in one perfect picture. We sit there kind of being grumpy with my cat and <laughs> <laughs> on a pile of diamonds and gifts. Ah, just perfect. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, yeah, thank you so much, all fan artists, by the way. You guys went absolutely bananas and bonkers <laughs> in anticipation of what's going to happen today. And also, <laughs> yeah, in uh, yeah, just going crazy, man, with amazing fan art of all the cool stuff that happened. Um, Yeah, with the <laughs> tunnel ball blowing up. It's, it was just crazy. 10,000 new subscribers as well. So, hey, if you're one of the new subscribers, welcome back. Glad you're still here. Um, today I will break your brain. <laughs> you know, the veteran viewers are already used to it. You new guys, um, you know, strap in. It's gonna be rough. <laughs> yeah, and with that said, let's get right into the action. We have so much things to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. The project of today, which is, I sound like a broken record, but I think by far the most insane thing I've ever done on the Hermitcraft server. <laughs> by far, though. This is nuts. It all starts here. Over at Impy's... <laughs> What is going on here? <laughs> Impy's place. He must have a little, little gift for us. Whoa! Um, hello? I didn't intend to go down there. Is this an elevator? Ah. See, when I press redstone buttons, I know what I'm doing. That's a huge difference here. <laughs> for Doc. Nice. Ooh, baby. Five <laughs> stacks of Wither Skulls. I ask for three, but five is even better. Nice. Man, whenever I come over here, though, I think, dude, this place is epic. Impy has been putting the work in here as well. This place is just crazy. I love the design. It gives me a lot of uh, Season 8 vibes of Ren and I, you know, when we were using the Copper and Deep Slate combo. It's just a fantastic color combo. And here with the Dwarven castle, it just, yeah, it just is epic. <laughs> man, this place, what is going on here, man? <laughs> yeah, but it looks absolutely epic out here. I mean, you know, with gems, amazing castle. It looks so cool. It's a, a cool mix of like elven struck. Oh, this creeper. Elven structures and some medieval bits and fantasy mixed in. And then this, yeah, super cool tree. It looks like a fantastic bonsai tree, pretty much. And then the crazy style Pearl has. It's like, you know, I often talk about unique styles hermits have. And yeah, Pearl, um, as beatups, for example, has a very distinguishable style. Um, it looks grandiose and amazing, large scale. Look at that amazing alien plant kind of over there with the builds mixed in. Yeah, she's also extremely, extremely talented. Man, there's some crazy stuff by now on this server for a, a long season. Um, and then, you know, the, the hermits can really. Yeah, show their full potential. I mean, Tango, right, decked out. It's gonna be nuts. And he has, um, you know, a map system right now. We'll have his camera account up there. And then you have actually updating map system. Oh, Bobby is updating the area. Yeah, that is, you know, 
uh, health bars and such um, for t um, decked out. Such a clever system he's been using for that. I love it. And hey, good old Mamborino is also back in action, chipping away, chipping away uh, at his base there. It's coming along, looking good. He also has a cool um, yeah, deep slate and copper look. His vault, and actually he's doing some work over here. <laughs> What's going on here? Wait. What? It's very sus. <laughs> and huh? Oh yeah, the portal, okay. Still not fixed, it's still sitting there. Why is there a big TNT above green space? That wasn't me. I swear. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, we grabbed what we needed, uh, our black Schalke box, and now I need to look for a suitable place um, for today's project. Uh, into this, literally, I'm not exaggerating here, hundreds of hours of work went. Like, this is peak, 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 peak technical Minecraft, like for real. The main brain father of this uh, thing is Methods, who's been helping me for years with his insane um, game knowledge. And um, yeah, uh, I just, yeah, I'm always grateful to Methods, man. He's one of my best, best friends in this whole Minecraft journey. Without him, 90% of the crazy stuff you see here would never be possible because, you know, um, together we somehow I get him motivated to really put all his knowledge in and everything and and uh, this uh, leads to crazy stuff <laughs> so it's a good synergy and yeah I I love methods for his help um, so yeah much much appreciated so you just saw in chat already <laughs> yeah I'm gonna try to trap 64 witters it all will make a lot of sense to you in the end. In the end, we're all going to use it to haunt Scarland. But first, yeah, we got to go to some crazy, crazy Minecraft engineering. I think we're going to set up the place somewhere back there, inside the perimeter, which the hive mind declared me crazy for. <laughs> I said, what? Are you sure? I trust you 100%. So we, we had to modify the original prototype quite a bit and spent like 16 hours yesterday uh, fiddling around to make sure it is more safe. A thing like that can probably not be 100% safe. And let's face it, if this fails, the whole perimeter and everything <laughs> surrounding it will become a no-go area because 64 withers or, or I don't know, we have five stacks now so we can even do a little bit more. We'll be loose here. And it will. <laughs> I mean, do I need to say more? All right, do I need to say more? It is insane. It is insane. But there's so many cool bits and pieces in there. Um, you have to see it. So I am gonna select a nice spot to start building here, and uh, then we attempt the most insane project of the season yet by. A light years. <laughs> All right, that clearly marks out a dangerous area. I mean, we have dangerous uh, area tape around it. <laughs> Uh, I'm up here right next to the Hall of Goat and I remembered up here on the hill there was actually llamas and yeah we gotta grab one because yeah llamas are gonna be very crucial for our future endeavors <laughs> you know if you want to deal with witters you first got to wrangle llamas uh, llamas llamas <laughs> Obviously. No, but for real. Oh, that's bad. I should have slept. Um, llamas actually have an interesting hitbox. Interesting in a sense of... Oh, crap. Uh, they are actually exactly the same. Is the llama fighting with the skeleton? 
Um, as a witter. Hey, leave my llama alone. Yeah, indeed. So if you look at the hitbox um, of a llama here, this footprint it has is exactly as big as one of a witter. And that is very, very crucial for us because, yeah, if we want to prepare a machine that kind of perfectly holds witters in place, um, like perfectly, like up to the 14th digit perfectly, we got to use llamas um, and boat. 3B here, let's turn it off. Okay, and now we just need to get this llama down into the perimeter somehow. Will it survive a fall like that? Oh, come on, llama. Like, oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, okay. We are cooperating. Wow, that was, that was amazing. Okay, the plan is, oh, the plan is to actually use the elevator and bring the llama down into the perimeter and then we can get it over to the, to the danger zone area. All right. Uh, I also would like to get a fence post, but we can do that later. No problemo. Okay, um, yeah, let's let's go to the elevator and see if we can get the llama to ride down in it. It will actually be, you know, then all the effort we put in our uh, fully functional elevator setup w it w would be justified. I have planted some sunflowers here recently because I need lots of yellow dye for all the concrete in, you know, the, yeah, what, what do you call it, uh, tape like that? I call it danger tape. It's definitely justified. Wait, where is... Ah, here. Okay, llama friend. Please go over here. Okay, I have the elevator set to the lowest floor, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, I still need to do the color coding and decoration. This is one of those projects we have sitting around, like, for too long, I feel. Okay. Yes, there goes the llama. Okay. Crap, that was the wrong floor. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Um, wait, where did it stop? Here? No, one further up. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get when you don't color code your elevator. And then don't look up uh, how it actually... Oh, man, this is going to be a bit more tricky to have the llama in there in a nice position. Wait, let's first... Um, okay, this was not it. Um, <laughs> so this is not two, probably three, four, five, six, brown, most likely upwards, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, come, you get into the elevator, please, okay, stay, go. Okay. We're going down. I think it was the brown one now. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this is looking good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See? Totally worth it. I told you, at some point, you know, this elevator will be crucial. And today is the day. Nice, nice, okay. Yeah. Cool, we made it all the way down. Ooh wee, nice. Yeah, eighth floor. Our display is also doing its thing. Okay, we got the llama here. That is good. Uh, but I think I will take a nap before I keep on moving here through the perimeter and get it up on the platform. Um, so, yeah, llama, um, wait here. I'll be right back. All right, I got the llama here on the platform and I went ahead and made a little nether portal over there. Um, we will need that. That is going to play an important role later down the line. But uh, for now, it plays an important role as well. Uh, not so greatly important, but crucial. <laughs> we need to get some zombified piglins. Four in total. We need them to hold some boats in places. They are undead mobs, so the widow will not go for them. So they are uh, very well suited for the job. And in case you wonder, so this portal leads to down here, way down below in the nether. And yeah, here are some of my other chunk loaders, right, for the uh, um, 
storage room and also for the crystal farm. And yeah, right here now is uh, a portal for our next setup. It's not going to be a chunk loading portal, but you know, uh, very important nevertheless. Uh, okay, so now is the question. Is here the area where the mob switch is active? Uh, there's a magma cube, but I don't get much piglins in here. Yeah, could well be in reach. Just thinking, what is the fastest way to get me some zombified piglins? I mean, sure, there's a chance one would spawn um, here in the portal. I guess I need to keep my eyes open when I see one, name them and put them in a boat. So I have them here. Maybe we should extend this platform here a little bit. Okay. Like so, so we have a little bit more space with the boat action. Yeah, I guess I will just start building groundwork here. We need to build some stuff up anyways. And um, yeah, then hopefully uh, eventually I get some piglin. If not, I'll go hunt a little bit in the nether and look if I can transport them somehow. All right. I started to build here a little bit. <laughs> Everything that is wood is just helper blocks. Um, doesn't belong to the design actually. But we will have to get the llama up here. And now starts the extreme. That's like the cr crucial, crucial, crucial moment. Perfect lining up of the llama in here. So I can later line up the boats around the llama perfectly. So they later hold all the withers in place perfectly. So we cannot screw up. Here's the llama. Here's my minecart. Bring the llama up here. Catch it. And then we drop it in there and make sure it sits perfectly. I can show you a little trick you can do if you have to deal with something where you want to place a, a, a minecart really accurately. Okay, let's grab our lead. Come here, llama friend. Without you, this would not be possible. All right, we're going up here. Grab the llama. They shy away from the tracks a bit, I suppose. Uh, maybe I want to expand to here a bit just so I can get oh god why is entity handling always so tedious huh llama where are you stepping at don't do stupid oh man really here like step on here walk up Come on, here. This is a clear path. Just walk up here. Come up. Good. And now we come, you come up here. Yeah. And jump. Yes. Good boy. Now we somehow need to... <coughs> Llama. Where did you get... Managed to get stuck there. Okay, now, come up here, yes, touchy touchy minecart a little bit, get in there, yes, genius, okay, <laughs> when is, you know, mob handling never will be easy in Minecraft, ever, it's just a fact, okay, so we got the dude sitting there, now I have a track prepared down there, uh, sitting on a helper block, later there will be other stuff, but for lining up this is perfect, and okay that means yeah we can drop down <laughs> no drop the llama in ah oh, man oh yeah it's all it's doing it yeah wants to get in there okay okay cool check check llama is in place but can we be certain that the llama is perfectly in place that means you know like exactly center of this block there. No, we can't. But there's a little trick we can use to ensure that is actually the case. So what we need is just another block here. And um, how can we get up again so we can work here better? Right. And then we can remove this glass pane real quick temporarily. And if we look now, right, the rails are pointing this way, like this way, right? So we want to make sure we turn them by 90 degree that will realign the minecart properly on it. So we do this. Now it flicked around and now if we break this. It's 100% guaranteed that this minecart is perfectly centered 
on this track. That is very, very crucial. Like everything is about perfect, perfect alignment here, like literally. But yeah, this guy sits in there now perfectly. And um, yeah, now we can start um, the process of moving my um, boats in with zombified piglin. And actually one came through here already and caught him with a boat. Um, but um, yeah, it's a pretty small portal. <laughs> I was already pretty lucky this guy came through while we were building. But I need three more. So I guess I have to go zombie piglin hunting. Then I'll double check again on the llama. If it's really positioned, I might flip the rail one more time. Um, because yeah, it's, it's a tedious process to get the boats aligned and you don't want to do it more than once <laughs> if necessary. And then, yeah, we can continue here. If we got the boats in check, the rest is kind of walking apart. <laughs> Well, no, it will be very, very nerve-wracking. All right, I'm here in the nether in one of the gold farms. I don't even know to whom this one belongs. But mine over there is not functioning anymore because, yeah, there is the mob switch that I think was a Tango installed to make the hub kind of livable. So, yeah, I picked up one from over here, jumping down with the boat now. Okay, and yeah, I'm gonna scoot over the nether ceiling all the way to over there to this portal, which at the moment connects to our portal at our yeah, glass platform in the perimeter. So yeah, I'll, I can haul some zombified piglins over there and it should be all right. And this way it's quicker than just waiting for the portal. I mean, we got one, but yeah, one in 600 chance per portal block that it happens. So I think this is definitely, definitely the faster way. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Only after this guy two more times, then we should be all right to do the lining up of the boats. All right. Just came back from a dentist appointment. Uh, that was fun. <laughs> Man, you know, the, the, the Rona is still haunting me because I got an infection at a tooth. A dentist asked me, have you been sick lately? Seriously? Because that's uh, unusual uh, to have an infection like that. And it's like, yeah. So there's that. Now tomorrow I have to go again <laughs> and have to take antibiotics. Nice. That's the fun times. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> got better things to do, like moving... Uh, Zombified picklings ab about. And uh, yeah, here you can see it now. What I was talking about when it comes to hitboxes. So we see the hitbox of the llama here. And what we are trying to achieve now is we want to push these boats in that we squeeze in um, the llama from all sides. So you can see this boat here is against this fence post. And the hitbox of it is to the left of the llama at the moment. That means we need a second one back here that sits the same way. So I have my three uh, piglins up there. And yeah, let's grab another one and try to put it in position. And then later, um, yeah, we also have to use pistons to push it three or two or three times to really make sure it is pressed up against the llama as tight as humanly possible. <laughs> that is the deciding factor of everything. If we slack here and screw this up, uh, you will pay a horrible price for it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we, we, that's, that's really the deciding thing. Everything else is just party in comparison. So we can't, really can't screw that up. So, okay. I'm getting in there with the boat. And yeah, that's good. We don't have to scoot too close to the llama. But we really got to make sure, and that's the case now, that um, yeah, we are positioned correctly. So this boat is pushing this way, and this is on the side here. That's correct. And now we need to position two more here and here, also locking the llama in place. And yeah, then pistons come in, in, into action. So yeah, let's, uh, let's keep on going here. All right, and now you can see it nicely how these boats are positioned around the llama. You can see, right, this one is holding this side of the llama. This boat is sitting next to this side, so it's held in this way. And this boat is arranged so it uh, sits next to this hitbox on this side, and this is here. That means from all sides, 
um, yeah, we kind of uh, press the boats uh, against the llama. Not fully yet, though. For that, we need to use some piston magic. And we do this. And now, if you look, like now, the boat is like super perfectly lined up against the hitbox of the llama here. To make sure this stays consistent, you have to break the piston and not the power source. Um, because, yeah, if you do that, the piston will retract and pull the boat back a little bit again, and it's not exact. And to be 100% sure, you want to do this like two, three times to really make sure this boat is like in place, locked in place. All right. And let's do it one more time just to be sure. And like this. Okay. And now um, this boat is aligned. So why do we have uh, things, Piglin riding that, right? If you have an entity in a boat, it cannot be bumped again. If you bump against this boat, uh, it will do nothing. The, the, um, yeah. Um, mob riding it locks it in place pretty much. That's, that's the reason. Okay, and now we do the same thing here. So this one we have to... Yeah, we can double check again. We look from on top. We can see we need to push it this way, right, over to make sure we lock the llama in. And uh, yeah, we do the same thing. Boom. Get the piston in there. And now we see again it is nicely lined up. And then, can't forget, break the piston, not the power source. And then we do this two more times just to be sure that everything is perfectly in position. Okay, and again break that and one more time we come in with our piston and now <coughs> this boat is locked in place and yeah just gotta repeat the process two more times so whoops here we gotta push over to this side so we put the piston i don't know we can push it put it on this hopper it doesn't matter and then boom align it nicely and yeah I'll keep on doing this now, make sure everything is in place, and um, yeah, then we can continue here. I built up a little bit further. I'm doing the glass box. That is pretty much just a safety box. Um, this is the area that is close enough. The Witter could potentially target you, and that's the only way when you do something wrong, you can break this thing. So, yeah. Uh, this time I'm going to build a gigantic uh, safety box with hazard markings around it to prevent my neighbors to mess with this. <laughs> because, as I said, if this fails then, you know, this here becomes a no-go area. So then, you know, it's no longer fun. Then it would be devastating. <laughs> so yeah, we, got to be, we got to be careful with this bit, boy, man. It's, it's no, no joke. All right. Um, yeah. So we have our lower uh, bits in place, you know, our lower um, witter holders, right? Those are the boats that are in place. And now the llama can actually get out of there. Um, let's break this and just drop the llama down and get it to exit the car and then we pull it away. Come here. That's good. Llama. Um, let's pull it down with a lead and get it away from the boats. Hey, jump, don't you? Man. These llamas, you know, they are really, like, <laughs> I don't want to say annoying, but yeah, they are. Get out of my redstone, man. I really don't like people touching my redstone. Haven't you heard by now? Okay, llama is out. That is good. Boom, we can put that llama here. So now that means these boats are perfectly aligned around the hitbox of the llama to later hold the witter. They cannot move anymore as, you know, as long as I don't flush them with water. We have to deal with some water as well, so I have to be extremely careful not to flush anything. Because if they move like a micro fraction, we are in problem world. And um, yeah, <laughs> we don't want that. So now... As we hold the witter in place, you know, to not be able to move sideways, the boat action continues, obviously. We're going to use another boat. And this weird construct here of an enchanting table and uh, anvil to actually, yeah, uh, hold the boat in a, a certain position that sits on top of the witter. 
<laughs> holds it holds it there. Um, so yeah, let's retrieve this glass block because as long as this is there, um, yeah, we can't really do anything. Boat will be in the way. We have to zero tick the glass block in. Okay, and now um, we have to get a glass block onto this anvil, like a so, and just drive it forward very carefully um, between yeah here. So it's held in place by the walls, as you can see from moving left and right. And now we just need to move forward a tiny bit, yep, to sit on the. Let me quickly check if that worked. Yeah. To sit on the... No, of course it didn't work. We glitched off. We have to try again. We have to sit on the enchantment table with the hitbox. I drove a little bit too far. All right. Yeah. Got the boat in there. And it's sitting perfectly now on yeah, the enchanting table. Scoot it back. And now we need to get a glass block in there. And um, yeah, we can't place it from here. So we need a bit of helper blocks. I use that, whatever I got on hand. And yeah, we need to push this glass block right in there. And yeah, we got the zero ticket, I guess. Uh, there's some of my <laughs> scaffolding yet. It's getting a bit chaotic here, but it's all right. Um, you know, later we can clean up everything and we should be fine. Yeah, we can't slack here. We really have our, to do our due diligence and have everything perfectly aligned and in position. The boat sits in there nicely now. Uh, we place to the sides by the wall, so that's nice. And so we don't want to mess with it now anymore. So yeah, we do this. Pretty much now here, actually, a mangrove root needs to sit next um, to the glass, and it's also kind of um, yeah prevented by this boat there so this should be good yeah and it later needs to be waterlogged okay that is perfect now the boat is wedged in place held down by the anvil and the uh, enchanting table and the enchanting table and the distance we have here we will have some scaffolding where the um, witness will stand on is the perfect distance the exact uh, pixel height of the witter and holds him in place upwards now so now, in theory, if we had a villager or something, or something else as a target sitting there, we could actually spawn in a witter. Um, that would actually work right now. <laughs> this is already a stable witter cage. So anything else we add from now on is bonus <laughs> and crazy stuff. But uh, yeah, this is a very, very smart setup. Um, when we load it later, you will see it in action. It's really cool. But here, this is one of the breakthroughs that were made. Two Note to Name worked on this uh, project as well, as well as Cayman, who was also the heavily involved with the Anvil Cannon, right? Um, but yeah, main work was done by Methods. But um, here, this is a very cool uh, idea. When we spawn the Witter in, the moment the Witter does its transformation explosion, that moment we push this um, yeah, ancient debris block inside the Witter and shield the complete explosion. This is already a breakthrough technology. This makes a yeah, Witter cage loading as easy as it ever was. So, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll keep on building here now a little bit. Um, we got to add some... Um, skull diverters and all kinds of stuff and um, yeah there's also gonna be shulkers in play <laughs> man after all the shulker over from spawn man um, i know cup uh, made a small shulker farm over there towards um, total chaos i'm debating what is the easier trip but right now i'm thinking maybe try to grab the finally grab the shulker from spawn and bring it over <laughs> There's some in Green's shop as well, I think, roaming about, but I better leave those alone. Although, I would clearly deserve one as compensation for the damage done to the tunnel bore. <laughs> okay, but this is good now. All boats are in place, and yeah, I'll continue building here a bit. All right, I kept on working here a little bit. It is a slow and tedious process, though, at the moment because I have to place a lot of fence gates and all of those fence gates are in a very specific position. All of them have to be opened. And yeah, I really have to yeah, double and triple check everything is placed correctly here and I have to do two more layers of fence gates now. Um, we will have water here and there, uh, bubble columns. 
because when we have witters in here, right, they'd be shooting. <laughs> and we want to divert the skulls and destroy them and control them um, when the farm is off. Uh, what does this farm even produce, you ask yourself? Well, we're actually producing controllable static witter skulls. Yeah, the bullets. <laughs> not the head of the witter, the actual flying bullets, and we can do whatever we want with them. For example, a blast chamber uh, that um, yeah, will run fully on skulls and not use any TNT duping. We will also get blue skulls, it's rare to get them, that's why you want to have a bunch of uh, witters in there, so you can increase the chance of blue skulls, because they have a really, 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 really great explosion damage. So. What does this whole thing have to do with pranking Skull? Well, of course, um, we will generate static Skulls and then we will transport them over <laughs> into Skullland and, you know, spread them around a bit. And <laughs> then they will have Witter Skulls in their base. They will have no idea what to do with them. You cannot really punch them or anything like that. Uh, you have to know how to move them. <laughs> we will haunt them, man. And if they make a mistake, they will cause some explosion damage. But we will only use blue, black skulls. They will not, you know, grieve their builds hard or so if they make mistakes. But it will definitely uh, <laughs> freak them out. That's uh, for sure. Um, another thing I want to quickly uh, comment on, uh, because I saw a comment about that in uh, the last video. People were wondering, or was it on Reddit? I don't remember. Um, wait, why can Doc see all these trigger messages? So Beef is make, using trigger command at the moment, I think, to create more TCG packs, if I'm not wrong. And I can see that at the moment because right now I actually am up on the Hermitcraft server here. Um, since I've been working on some of the crazy stuff, the Anvil Cannon and so on, I got up in case something super crazy goes wrong, right? <laughs> then I could fix stuff and, and you know, try to prevent utter chaos. And uh, that's why I have op uh, rights for a while. And uh, for example, with this project here, I before we started, I will actually pull a, a world uh, back up. And therefore I need op too, so I can save the world. Because yeah, if this catastrophically goes wrong, I mean, we gotta <laughs> we gotta have a safety net. It could be absolutely devastating. Like if a stack of Witters escapes on the server, I mean, <laughs> you know. So therefore, yeah, safety measures. Uh, I'm crazy, but not insanely crazy. Uh, mainly, though, you know, to prevent other hermits from losing progress or losing their stuff, right? I mean, if my stuff blows up, uh, it is it happens. What what can you do? But I gotta protect the other hermits from my insanity, a little bit as well. And so it's good, you know, to have op uh, right as well. And on top, of course, sometimes something breaks or whatever and time zones need to be covered. So several of us have op rights to fix stuff in, in case of emergencies and things like that. So, but yeah, there's nothing to do because people were speculating about prestige and trust and blah, blah, blah. I mean, come on, man. We know each other for forever. And whoever has op uses it very, very responsibly and would never use it to cheat or anything like that. It's literally only used in emergency. And whenever we use anything op, we actually protocol exactly in our Discord channel what we did, right? So there's always exactly everybody knows, hey, op or, you know, op command was used to fix something or uh, I don't know. Some chunks were pruned unintentionally and you have to restore some chunks, stuff like that. Pretty much only for emergencies. So yeah, there's that. I will continue placing fence gates now. And um, yeah, this time I also brought some ice. So filling in the water uh, should be definitely easy then as soon as we have the fence gates in place. But the water flows here are crucial. We cannot screw it up. Hoo-wee, yeah, that took a while. <laughs> All the water that needs to be in place is in place. There's no leakage, nothing washed the boats away, so we can assume the boats are still in perfect position, which is nice. And yeah, we have two skull diverters here, just this box with bubble columns, um, one here, one there. Uh, when the farm is off and we're not harvesting skulls from it, we fire in this direction and divert the skulls this way. 
And when the farm is actually triggered, the two side heads will turn around and actually fire this way. And um, yeah, for that reason, we need a second bouncer here. There's also water flowing out from this bounce chamber and actually will go straight through the Witter's head. And the water stream continues up here, this gap towards here. And this uh, setup was designed by To Know To Name. This is actually a skull collector and separator. So it separates the black and blue skulls. Blue skulls will then end up here, black skulls over there. And yeah, we will literally wash the skulls out of the <laughs> widow's face. <laughs> I know, it sounds like magic. It will all make more sense when we have the thing up and running. But for now, uh, just be sure we have all the water in. It's all perfectly aligned the way it should be. Nothing spilled. And that is huge success. And now I have to do some more red stoning as the water is, is safely in there now, right? Nothing can happen and redstone could be destroyed. Uh, in the meantime, you can watch another installment of Total Chaos. <laughs> and indeed, again with another twist. So check it out. It was amazing. A lot of hermits there. Welcome one and all once more to Total Chaos. Hope you guys are doing well today. Hope you're ready for a chaotic day. Should be a fun time. Okay. Chaos, oh chaos, dear. Chaos, <laughs> chaos, chaos, so chaos. I need you guys to grab grab a, a full set of iron armor. You're gonna grab oh, some swords. Gonna grab some multi-shot crossbows. Uh, grab I... one one crossbow. Grab food. Uh, there's honey bottles in the in the barrels. You want to grab okay. at least two night vision potions oh, and a totem okay. of undying. <laughs> So go ahead and okay. grab all those things. I'm going to grab... Oh, man, there's iron thing. swords. What's going on? Sharpness 5 iron swords? Uh, that's, a, that's a tanky sword. Uh, yes, indeed. There's yes, a indeed. lot going on on this one, I think. This gem oh, plane. How many honey balls do oh, you no, take? Oh, no, we're good. <coughs> take 16. 16 <laughs> honey balls. 16. Beautiful. Okay. Yep. Yeah, night, night vision, crossbow, iron sword, totem of undying, and armor. Was there anything else? Is there, like, uh, arrows? Sword? No arrows. Yeah. No arrows. Oh. Oh. You'll okay. pick up inside arrows inside the arena. Uh, correct, inside oh, the arena. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, yes, indeed. oh wow. Ooh. That is the We're twist. Have you pick swords as well. Yes, yes. Make sure you have okay. a sharpness five sword. Sharpness mm -hmm. five sword. One one stack of honey. One stack of honey. Yep. Take up this uh, this night vision potion. Don't look right to me. Is there any food? It looks a little different. Yeah, there's going to be different Three. potion colors, so just be aware of that. Uh, Sixteen. <laughs> Mr. Ben Do we have any food to take, or just the, oh, the honey stack? Are we talking about the honey? Box. Box. Oh, it's the honey yeah, food. Yeah. Okay. The honey is food. Yep. Still salty. Are right, you guys going yeah. head up? I'm still going head up. We'll start the, the game. TCG, man. You're ready. <laughs> you can take it out on me on the battlefield. All right. Be careful not to go too far to the sides here. By the okay. way. Can oh boy, the this place. Motions? Every time I'm here, it's like. Mm. Oh night. man. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. See if Jeb's good. <laughs> is it too early for night vision or no? Oh, there's some Jeff stuff flying. Hear. I think somebody's too close oh to the goodness. wall there. Potion time. All right. Okay. Mm. Okay. 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 I'm back. I got it. I got it. You uh, got it. All right. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So Jeb, go ahead and grab uh, iron. Iron gear. Are you gonna count us down? <laughs> oh, do yeah, we wait, Jeb wait. from the game? Yeah, we're waiting Jeb. for Jeb. Jeb's, yeah. Jeb. Jeb uh, disconnected. Okay, I got my gear. All right, Better so make hurry. sure you, My night yeah, make sure you got sharpness <laughs> sword here, crossbow from here. Uh, okay. Got to get honey from over here. <clears throat> Sixteen bottles. Okay. And then two night vision Five potions five. and a totem of undying. You. <laughs> got it. Go over here. I told you. All right, you got your totem too, Jeff. Yes, sir. All right, head on up. Head on up, and I'll. Start is anyone playing without their totem in their offhand? My computer has had like the biggest meltdown them. ever, dude. I mean, what's the point of that? <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, Welcome, it's, it's everybody, begins. to Total Chaos. Things are about to get wild, so buckle up. You are in for a treat. Once the, I will once count the total, in, once and the, uh, when the first dripstone, dripstone falls, falls start begin the battle. your battle oh, in man. five. Four, oh, no. three, here three, we go. Two, two, one. Here we go. Oh, oh goodness! Oh, here we go. It's chaos. Oh, it's totally yeah. chaos. Ah. Ouch! Ouch! Oh, getting in those hits. Getting in those hits. I'm running. I'm running. Oh, I'm oh, wait, why I'm can't healing. I move? Oh no! No! I no, literally no, no, can't move. What's going on? Heal! <laughs> Heal! Oh, I forgot you can't jump. Oh, I got the. Oh, these crossbows are hard to aim. 
Don't you do oh. it, Beef. I got it. I got it. Sorry. Yeah, I I'm sorry. Oh, no. no. He's so slow. He's I'm moving so though. slow. Oh, I'm oh. a tanky boy. No. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh, 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 no, Doc! Why are you uh, so strong? Uh, you why are you not going down? Oh. Yeah. You're not going to. You're not uh, going to. Aerial oh battle, girl. Let's go, you and me. No. I didn't realize you were oh, up there. That was a bad thing to yell at me. <laughs> yes. Oh, Ethan, I know. Alright, I'll leave you be. I'll leave you be. I just have to pop Oh, God. What, what hit me? What hit me so hard? Oh, my goodness. Something hit me super hard. Ethan, look up. Look up. Probably all these. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. No, I'm really going up. I'm going up. Oh. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Health, Boom. health. Dang it, Don't impale Gotta me. Pop the with totems. The sword. Uh, pop the totems. The runaway oh, ladder. Oh, too high. <laughs> I'm in the lava. Oh, no. no. No, Doc. Doc, Doc. We're friends. Remember? Please. All right, all right. Lava, no. <laughs> no you're, not, you're not friends. You're not friends. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, don't leave me alone. I'm, I'm down. just chilling up here, leave man. Me alone. You're flying. <laughs> I flew too high. I'm so high up. No. Are oh, you doing beef? No. 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 Oh, oh I'm so dead. You don't, you have you your don't totem? want to skip I'm for that. I'm constantly in mid air. I'm out of oh, no. totems. I'm not Wait, a totem. You're going to be out of the Oh. Oh. Oh, God. No, no, Leo, no. you can't hide in the health healing area. Why am I constantly oh, yeah. flying? <laughs> Wait, is there an actual area with health potions? Ugh. It moves. You want to be in the red one. The red the, one. The nice red one where Cleo's getting stabbed. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> You're not that sounds like a stabbing great one. me that hard, to be honest, Joe. Yeah, yeah that's okay. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> oh. Stop, stop healing, Ethan. Oh, stop man. Well, Who's well. attacking me? Someone <laughs> attacking me? What's going on here? Nobody. No, I'm Everyone in the lava in the him. ceiling. Oh, help. Help. <laughs> this oh. evil. Oh. I banished <laughs> No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Come on! Oh, I got credit! Oh, oh, nice beef! Nice! Heal. This is insane! Why? I'm not healing! Oh no, this is, the good. this is not good! This is not good! Oh, I died to the roof! Oh, no, 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 no. Too much fizzy lifting drink, Doc! Die my goodness! Technically, you died to fizzy <laughs> lifting drink! <laughs> oh, oh, I need to heal! Come at Ethan! That's the Willy Wonka death fight! Right? <laughs> oh, now you wanna fight! Yeah, now I wanna fight yeah. you now! He's he looks like a porcupine. Yeah, get him. <laughs> Cleo, you don't want to do this. I mean, I'm third <laughs> anyway, so you know I'm good. <laughs> no, Ethos, stay away. That's a bad Oh, ethos. you were low, man. Oh, dude, I had like I had like a heart and a half. <laughs> so oh, we were going to have a big drawn out fight here. <laughs> no, Not Ethos no, no. again. Falls. <laughs> Show him who's boss. No. <laughs> Top three, get TCG <laughs> coins. Okay. Here. Fight Ethos. Fight Ethos. He can't win again. <laughs> you might want to turn oh, around. Get down here, Jeff. <laughs> Cleo, no, I, I need I you, wanna, I need I you I for false. Pro <laughs> what are you talking uh, about? Me too, I know, but it's really hard. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Really, really Can you get good. on the other side? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I'm just going to go into free Counter game. crits are no, coming. Ethan, you killed me once already. Get him. I got I to gotta get you. You're too strong, false. <laughs> Cleo, not. get Ethan. Cleo, go oh, in. No. This is a chance. Oh, Cleo, get your sword. Use the sword. Run. Time your hits. Run, run, Cleo. Uh oh, she's getting on Oh, oh epic battle. Oh, he's washed up. He's washed up. <laughs> get him, Cleo. Get him. He's washed up. That's the epic battle. <laughs> <laughs> Cleo. How much damage going on? Oh, prove it. Prove it, Issa. You're not washed up. No. Oh, 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 oh
I'm chillin, that's all good, nothing get flooded, I'm still happy. <laughs> so far, so good. Now we need to work on the on-off switch. Um, we're gonna use a shulker for that. And yeah, we're gonna push the shulker perfectly in the head of the witter. Why do we do that? Well, a shulker is pretty much a full block. And the hitbox or the center of it is perfectly in the center of a block. So, remember, when we were working with gas, oh, I have the hitboxes still on, <laughs> um, we used this crazy gas cannon in the beginning of the season, and there was also this trick that we had a target for the gas placed perfect in the perfect position, so when it tries to shoot its bullets, they will have no momentum. And we use the same trick here with the Witter. We will have a Shulker that is perfectly positioned. And that's uh, now why you uh, will also understand why it's uh, crucial that the Witter is also perfectly positioned, right? Because only when the Witter is perfectly centered, and we're using these boats to achieve that, then the Shulker will also be perfectly centered in the head of the Witter, and therefore we will create skulls that actually have no momentum. You know, because the Witter aims for something, aims for the closest thing. And if the skull, uh, the Schalke is literally sitting in his face, well, he will aim for that. And as it has no distance to the target, yeah, the skulls will have no momentum and will just sit in the head of the Witter, yeah, doing nothing. And now comes our water stream technology in place here, right? The head of the Witter will be right there. We have the Schalke right in his face. It gets pushed in by this piston double extender. We unload the Schalke to here and then boom, it gets pushed over. And then it creates motionless skulls and we use these water streams then to flush them out of the Witter pack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a lot to digest. It's crazy. We're really close. To, now we need to build the on-off uh, switch. So when we have the uh, Schalke pushed into the Witter, we need to get it out somehow. And we will do that by creating an area that is blocked, but we can switch it on to enable the, uh, yeah, um, the Schalke to teleport there. Right? So then the Schalke will literally teleport out and then we can shut off the farm again. Um, so yeah, that's what we need to create. It will sit here on top. We're gonna use some trapdoors, and yeah, we'll either flick them, then the Schalke cannot teleport there, and then we open them, and then there's areas for the Schalke to teleport to, and then we can get him out again. That's the last bit that is needed redstone-wise, and or building-wise, and then this thing would be ready to go. <laughs> uh, minus obviously the entities. We need a villager here. We need a villager there. That should be no problem. We got a bunch of villagers up in the Hall of Goat, so we can easily use the elevator again, transport them down, right? And then, yeah, we come over here with them. So no biggie, but uh, the bigger task will be to actually get a Shulker. We have one sitting at spawn, remember that? From way at the beginning of the season. And we got to haul that Shulker to over here. And yeah, that Shulker then will be used to, yeah, yeah do the whole magic. So yeah, let me do a little bit more building and um, then um, it's mob hauling time, I guess. All right, in the next phase of our crazy endeavors here, we have to pick up a villager and transport it over to, yeah, the machine. There's no other way we can call it. Der Gerät. <laughs> okay, let's pick up one guy here and um, yeah, I made a long minecart track and actually I want to use furnace minecart <laughs> never do that well today is a, is a good day to use it actually because yeah we gotta push him along quite quite a bit out here out of the hall of gold man this this uh, small village to breed there came in handy so many times okay and there he goes come on furnace minecart catch up still has this crazy bump it can give an entity this villager is taking off, man. <laughs> yeah, and uh, over there, just uh, go around the bend. It's a bit bad visibility because for some reason I used stone <laughs> as building block here for these tracks. And then we just drop him down in the position they need to be on the power track down there. Then, um, yeah, we need to drop one more villager um, further back. So we have the two targets. 
And then, yeah, comes the big job, hauling um, the shulker. And yeah, I think I will use flying machines for that. But anyways, here goes the villager. Well, cool. I think I gave him some sideways momentum. And he will die. <laughs> Thank God there's more. Okay, we need some guardrails here. Yep, that was better. <laughs> it's also even a cool villager. He was partially, I think, yeah, it's a swamp guy, actually. That's cool. All right, let's bump it into position. And there, yes. Cool. Okay, number one. Bye. Bullseye. <laughs> what? What? There's a guest. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm out here placing um, stopper blocks for the for the Schalke transport and there is one of the guests we released as a prank on Green. All the way back. <laughs> it's up there. I knew it was somewhere around the perimeter. That's a bit troublesome. <laughs> Hopefully it won't shoot us when we transport the Schalke. I mean, we need to go to 160 height-wise here. Oh, yeah, we're actually a little bit too high. Looking at 160, so this block needs to be a stopper block. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is so crazy. <laughs> All right. We are at spawn now. And yeah, you, my friend, Schalke boy, will fulfill your destiny today. Man, we've been sitting at spawn since, I don't know, 1989 <laughs> since forever since forever and yeah we want to launch this bad boy and um yeah we have a bunch of flying machines to transport it over to the perimeter we got some stuff prepared over there and then a stopper block we will fly past uh beat uh, house and uh, scars castle should be a tight fit but <laughs> should work out so first order of business is to see if we can actually get a solid block in here that would be very nice. Yes, okay, that's already good. So no stress here. No invis potion. Invis potion is for the weak. <laughs> Hopefully I don't regret this. Otherwise it will be so painful to get another Schalke. I talked to Cup already, so he, he cut me in case. Need be. Okay. Yep, that guy is up in there. And now we follow. Man, it's so choppy here. <laughs> Spawn is... You know, we're creating 25 TPS from spawn alone. I don't know what people are doing, but it's terrible. <laughs> so choppy. Everything is a pain. Okay. Um, the Shulker is in place. Now we remove stuff around it. For example, this has to go. This has to go. All of that. And also the piston here. So nothing can get stuck at the flying machine. And yeah, now, oh, oh, he's seeing me through the, oh, okay. He saw me through the, not full block here, through this gap. There he can see me. But okay, it's all right. Um, I should be out of, out of vision most of the time. <laughs> oh, man. No, no, no. This is already wonky. Okay, anyways, I need to power this. Um, observer down here and uh, we should be fine but I think the guy is nicely yeah he's still in minecart no problem all should be good we don't have to worry if he starts to aggro me we can always lock out and then he will lose the aggro I think we should do that real quick just to be sure so he, he loses the aggro on me okay then we go back in and um, that should help prevent him being aggro anymore all right cool anyways we are good to launch though and yeah we can place a button here and then the flying machine will take off just double check again it's free nothing is sticking to it okay we can 
go. Oh, yeah, probably this obsidian should be removed. <laughs> it it should be still in the card though. Uh, it's all good. Yeah, just double checking. Okay, now we need to remove this obsidian. Gotta make sure I don't hit the slime and it uh, the honey unintentionally. Okay, now the flying machine is good to go. All right. Wow, the choppiness. Off we go. Nice. I'm just gonna chill here and wait until it's up there. So I'm, I can scope out um, and make sure I'm not in vision also. So we don't want him to shoot. That's bad. Worst case, it hits the minecart, right? Gets out of the minecart and then it is highly annoying. And then we have to fiddle around. We don't want to fiddle around. So far, everything went so smooth. You don't need no, no problems. All right. Should fly up there and then stop. Okay, let's, let's chase after it. Mm -hmm. And we stop. Okay, we stay over here where the glass blocks are. Then we should be safe. Okay, next part of the journey is going this way. Um, we need to make sure we remove everything again that is in the way here. So this is nothing. This obsidian is fine. We will glide by it. Okay, we can just launch this bad boy. We'll do that from over here. Quickly get into the minecart. Okay, here we're blocked from vision. We need to place a block or a button here to launch everything. But yeah, this is looking good. So now we need to remove the bottom flying machine that was bringing us up here. <coughs> Just want to make sure I stay on this side so he can't see me. So this needs to go now. So otherwise we would get stuck, of course. Ooh, the lag here at spawn. Brutal. Okay. So now we're good to go. Hoppa. Okay. Let me double check again. Nothing in the way. Nothing we can get stuck at. Okay, this will be the long, long part of the journey. Will be quite a long ride. Okay, let's get in here. Let's grab ourselves a button and we just place it in here and that just launch the flying machine. All right, let's go. Okay, cool. Run away. Can't wait to get out of lag hell, uh, which is uh, also called spawn. But yeah, this is all looking fine and dandy. Okay. Yep. All good. Just cannot fall out of the minecart, but it should be uh, safe. Look how choppy it is here at spawn. It's gnarly. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Man, let's get out of here. Half of spawn is probably loaded. Beatups is on. I think he's live streaming at the moment, trying to find a perfect horse, if I'm not mistaken. Um. Yes. We don't even have to tell him. He's on it. Okay. Last time I, I quickly watched his stream before I started flying here. I saw him hanging around this place. There, there's some flying action down there, actually. <laughs> Could be him. Although they were wearing pants. I don't know if Beatups even was wearing armor. Yeah. Scar is also on. The culprits. We're also going to fly past Scar. Maybe they see us coming by wondering what the heck is Doc doing again. Man, it looks so glitchy. But we're good. We're good. Just want to make it out of spawn chunks. Soon, soon we're away from it and don't load it anymore. You know, I did some testing because we pulled world backups. All right. Hey, Doc. Hey, no, go away. <laughs> don't, I'm no. passing through. No shenanigans. Any, anything you need help with? No. No, no. You don't need any help? No. Okay, alright, alright. Right. You I don't see me. You. I mean, I am an expert redstone. No, 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 no. You don't know what I'm doing here. You haven't seen me. 
Oh my god. It's him. <laughs> oh, there he is. Yeah, I knew it was him. Look, procrastinating. See, that's what they always do. Him and Green, you know. And then you still wonder how in, in the world does he manage to build these insane things when they're when they hanging out so much. I don't know, get it. You know, when I'm on the server, I'm doing stuff. Like, I'm constant, like, uh, you know, there's no procrastinating, man. There's just grind. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Coming past beat-ups here. Man, still choppy as hell. Still loading in spawn a bit. Oh. Man. And then we come to the next lag hell, which is Scarland, with all the entities there. <laughs> oh. Did I see beat ups walking around down there? What is this? Is this beat ups? Oh, it's Scar. He's watching me. <laughs> oh, little does he know. Little does he know. Dude, but I swear to God, if he. Stay away, dude. <laughs> oh. Okay. Performance gets slightly better, but we're still close to spawn, man. We're still loading it in, I think. Oh my god. <laughs> what is the choppiness? <laughs> Maybe I should restart Minecraft and add it for like, <laughs> I don't know, over 12 hours by now, non stop, never restarted the client. Sometimes uh, that also uh, can be a problem. And the like, last thing we want is to have a crash now and, you know, the game crashing on us. That would be bad. Then the flying machine would somehow break. I mean, it would not be the worst. Probably fix it. And maybe Scar could even come in handy, as nosy as he is, hanging around, you know, keeping the flying machine loaded. But yeah, it sure is choppy. Hmm. Well, as long as we make it. Now comes a bit of an iffy part straight ahead. <laughs> we have... We have... Uh, I think we're skimming, we're literally skimming by Scar's roof there. Close. <laughs> Should be fine though. I, I checked beforehand. I, I honestly, you know, as it is taking forever now again, maybe we slacked a little bit with the checking, but I think we should skim by it, no problem. <laughs> oh man. This brings uh, some backflash so when I was flying here with the dragon. Oh god. Scar, I see you. I'm making sure you're not going to hit my roof. <laughs> what? You want to make me liable for damages? There's beat ups here. Are you bombing him? Are you bombing him, Doc? <laughs> no, no. Don't no, touch things. Ride. I'm just flying by here, minding my own business. I'm flying here with my shulker. I'm doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a shulker in there. Okay, okay. Yeah, don't. It might shoot if you fly in front of it. Okay, okay, okay. Don't. Okay. Please. <laughs> like, if it shoots and gets out of the minecart, I'm dying. I'm, I'm grinding for 16 hours. <laughs> oh. Okay, they're gone. Holy moly. They, you know, that's why we can't have nice things here on the server. You know, it, this could have been catastrophic. Like, if it looks outside, sees them, you know, at the gap, at the honey block gap, boom, shoots, gets out of the minecart, we're doomed. <laughs> okay, but it looks like we're, we're skimming by um, Scar's castle nicely. <laughs> Are you bombing him? <laughs> All right. Stop a block at the horizon. Nice, nice, nice. Pretty much the same setup now. We'll arrive here. Then we have to tear out the old flying machine and, you know, switch over to this one, put the minecart there and then just launch it. And then, yeah, we fly over towards the perimeter. I have no idea what causes these lag spikes at the moment, though. We flying around with this tiny flying machine. It's like choppiness. It's so weird. Yeah, it won't matter. If we have the Schalke over there, we're happy. All right, almost arriving here. Stop a block should be in the right position. And boom. Cool. 
So yeah, now this next flying machine is set up to keep up, keep us moving, right? So we just go ahead, break this. You can put that over there now. Okay, this whole flying machine can can go. Can't you know? Can't be touching us there. Okay, now we go over here. Get our minecart in place. Okay, that's done. And yeah, we also need to remove this stopper block here. This is a bit of a dangerous position actually. Could see us. Got to be careful. Okay, and now we are good to go into direction perimeter. Yes, indeed. Nothing in the way anymore, right? Just double checking. Yep, we're cool. Okay, let's hop in the minecart and then we place a button there and we take off. And yeah, now towards the perimeter. Same procedure, everything working fine. Oh my god! No! The guest! <laughs> There's the guest! No, 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 no. No, 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 no! No, no! No, 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 no! No! No, no! Dude! No! Why are you so low? You've been cruising around at height 300 all the time. Oh my god. No, 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 stay away. Stay down. Don't. No, 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 no. No, no. If he if he looks onto us, we got to get out of the flying machine and just stay close, keep it loaded. But oh my No, 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 no. You stay down. No, 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 no. Oh my. No, 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 no. 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 No, 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 no. It's getting really close now. I'm I'm getting uncomfortable with this. Okay, I'm bailing. I'm just staying close to the flying machine. Keep it loaded. I can't, I can't be a target in there. Oh my. Are you kidding? What is going on? I... It's like I'm cursed. Are you kidding me? Guests are shooting me in the overworld while I'm trying to get a crucial Shulker moved. I might have to take this guy out. I don't want to though. It's because it's an iconic. Just fly up again. What are you doing here? You stupid guest. And everything is so choppy. He's so close. Go away. Oh my god. This is an absolute, this is crazy. <gasps> Where's the flying machine? You cannot let it unload. Oh my god, <laughs> he's right there. They have to fight through choppiness. Why, what are, what are we dealing with here? Okay, there's the stopper block up there. Just got to stay with it. Yeah, that's, that's good. We'll be loading it. Oh my god. Oh, there's the guest. Okay, I, I'm quickly gonna chill here and, and take a breather and maybe restart my game so the choppiness go, uh, goes away. What the heck? One of those moments again. <sighs> you spend like 20 hours building something and then you actually are scared to turn it on. <laughs> oh man. I mean, everything should be fine. 
Um, yeah, we got this guy dropped in here. We got our villagers there. Gate open, gate closed. Everything is in the right state. I mean... <laughs> At some point, we gotta try it. Um, last thing I need to do, though, to actually get the machine primed and ready is... Um, yeah, we're gonna start with one <laughs> witter. And actually, the Witter Skulls go in here, so we can automatically spawn the Witter from, you know, outside. Don't have to be anywhere close. So there's that. Um, and yeah, in this dispenser that sits right here, we got uh, Splash Potions of Harming, instant damage too. And every time a Witter gets spawned, um, hits those Piglin. Because... You know, whatever you do uh, yeah, when it comes to Wither spawning, um, you can block their damage on blocks and whatnot. Um, you know, with the cool trick we use here, pushing a block inside of them, the perfect moment they transform. Um, that is a thing, but you cannot blow damage, uh, block damage rays on entities or mobs. For some reason, that's unshieldable superpower uh, beam that goes through everything. So they will always take a tiny bit of damage when, um, yeah, we spawn in a Witter. And obviously we don't want those dudes in the boats to die. So yeah, every time we spawn a Witter, we hit that thing and make sure they get healed a bit. And yeah, now all that is left to do is you go ahead and you just simply, um, yeah, place some... So sent there, and if I'd press this, we would spawn in a Witter now. Okay. Oh yeah, I have some safety measures, obviously. <laughs> and, you know, some signs. Do not touch any levers or note blocks. Not, not, bl not blocks? Oh man, seriously? <laughs> Especially if your name is Green or Scar. Do I need to fix that now? I had to put... This is, this is gonna drive me insane. No, no, no. Before we trigger the machine, this needs fixing. You need to obey science, man. If you're from <laughs> Germany, you would... German. Ne no? Yeah, they're, they're never gonna listen to you. <laughs> Come on, man. This says... Look, it has a hazard tape around it, right? And it has the big, you know, crossed out. You, you don't come in here, you know? <laughs> It's so like, hold on, it, it shows their faces. What if they change their skin? True. Oh, yeah. Then technically, they're not well, any That's roles. their original, you know, they can disguise, <laughs> do whatever. That Everybody knows it's them. Also, okay. I mentioned them specifically here. So. Oh, that, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically speaking, Scar is more good times with Scar, so he can yeah. uh, get past that. I mean... <laughs> Oh, wait, yeah, oh, yeah. Let me quickly start <laughs> replay mod, by the way, in case this is an utter disaster. Okay, what is even going on here, you asked yes, me, Yes, that's Jeff. a good question. <laughs> yes. So, uh, made this thing here that is technically a revolution in Witter cages. It should be able to hold, like, infinite amounts, in theory, and also should be able to, yeah, load them, while, you know, with no problem. Um, you know, with, uh, yeah, it's always been a problem, right, if you want to load in more than one. Because they explode... And the explosion causes problems, things break, and then they escape. So this thing mm -hmm. should potentially prevent that. But it should I like? So should. what's it? What's it for? Is it like a yes. transporter or something? It or? is not. Uh, no, the reason I have it is to actually create um, stationary witter skulls. So not their oh. not their heads, but the actual bullets. Uh, and, okay. And then you can oh. use the bullets to um, you know to blow stuff up like a. I don't know, a blast chamber, you know, mm. universal blast chamber for tree farm, for all kinds of stuff, um, without using the TNT duping. But interesting. I will use it to make uh, Scar hate his life. <laughs> <laughs> See, now, that to me sounds way more fun than a tree farm. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so uh, without further ado, I think it's due time. I, You know, um, we're only going to do one Witter. If yep. hell breaks loose, we got to kill it. All right, oh, that's no problem. That's no problem. Oh, <laughs> beef, okay. Yeah. Sounds beef, familiar. Yeah, you're okay. me know. You got this is I'm in good hey. shape here. You got your potions with you? I don't have oh. anything this time. I don't time. need I any potions. I'm fine. <laughs> no, no, no. I tested it a million times. It will not go. 
wrong. A million times. Okay. okay let's see. So, okay, I'm going to press here and then all hell breaks loose. Three, two, one. Let me empty my hand. Don't go in there, please. While, okay. No, no, no. Here we go. Okay. Oh, it's there. It's there. Okay. And now what okay. will happen is it's it's the timer is running and exactly the moment it will transfer, we will push the nether. Uh, yes. Okay, that shielded the explosion and yes, pick the target and yes. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yes, the skulls are... are beef, beef, do you have any idea what's going on right now? Okay. I, I, yes. I can see what's happening. I don't know how we do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to freak him. So are the skulls going through the portal? Oh, no. man. I'm, I'm just shaking a little bit. Sorry, I need to... <laughs> <laughs> calm breathe, my, God, breathe. Calm, <laughs> calm down. Okay. So what just happened was we spawned in the Witter automatically. It yeah. went up. The moment it transfer forms, you know, from glowing into real wit and does its explosion, we pushed that netherite block inside of him and therefore shielded all the damage he does. Oh, and wow. we have uh, boats and stuff that holding them perfectly aligned. And you can see the skulls are flying over there into these yeah, chambers, kind of into these tubes. Yeah, it's, yeah like a little tiny yeah. box. Yeah, those That's tubes. Amazing. Those tubes are destroying um, the skulls to make sure they don't ricochet or anything, and you know, come back. Oh. You can see the portal oh. there too. Every one thousand skull is a blue skull. Blue skulls fly oh. slower and behave a little bit differently. And we have these bubble columns, and in the bubble columns we deflect the skulls, right? And the blue skull will be deflected into the portal. And when it goes through the portal, it's a glitch. It will actually turn into a black skull and therefore no, lo you know, not be really dangerous. It will just blow up Jesus. against some battle. You know, nothing will happen. So yeah, so that's the thing. Right now we have a stable situation. Now comes actually the crazy bit. This is all it's just only ten more. In. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> First we gotta test it with one. So what's now gonna happen is a shulker is gonna be dispensed and pushed right into the head of the witter. And then we should be able to get skulls. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. Turning it on. You mean like like the bullets or? Do you yeah, the bullets, the bullets. The bullets. Okay, oh, here okay. comes the shulker. Yeah, here comes the shulker. There you go. Here, drops down, pushed inside the witter. Yes, 45 nice. degree angle. Skulls are coming out. Yes. Dude, that is wild. That is so cool. Holy crap! You see. We this have the skulls like here now, genius yeah. stuff, dude. and now I'm shooting. Yeah, I'm just destroying them, shooting them onto the target over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and insane. it's it's also a crazy trick when it hits the the note, um, the target block, the trapdoor comes up exactly in the same tick and shields the whole explosion. That's why it's not uh -huh. blowing up. But you know we need to destroy the skulls at, because we don't want to store them here, right? Entities would build up. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But yeah, we can launch them and do whatever we want with them. And it, it, it's like a conveyor belt of skulls. If you have free it cam, <laughs> you can look at it. It's yeah. absolutely insane. Dude, this is nuts. <laughs> yeah. And that's only one? Why do, you need to, why do you need to spawn more well, than one? Well, Obviously, you need like 50. If you want blue skulls, right? One in a thousand. Oh. You want to have more in there. That's right. for sure. But maybe I also adjust my volume a little bit. Oh, yeah. It's loud. It's that's really too. loud. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. But for now, it's only one. Okay, but it's working. So, you know, we haven't seen a blue skull yet. There's actually no. a blue and black skull separator. Like all yeah, the yeah. black skulls get shot over there. The blue skull will come out at a different spot. But yeah, one in a thousand chance. So, so what, like, what happens when the blue skull comes out? Does it just like float in a different yeah, direction? It, yeah, it just gets washed into a different direction because it has a different speed. And then it just wow. will sit there and then you can also, you know, work with process it and do whatever story yeah, yeah. Um, the only downside is with blue skulls if the area ever gets unloaded it's the same as if they go to the nether they will turn into a black skull oh, they just no. forget their mbt data Dude, this is crazy yeah i know so the, a lot of stuff is happening right now right the yeah. the side skulls turned around and are trying to hit this villager that sits to the left here um it happens because we opened the fence gate in front of it so then the uh, side skulls turn around and shoot backwards, as you can see, right? The skulls are flying to the other side right mm -hmm. now. And yeah. at the same time, for the main head, 
we put the Schalker in, in place. So the main head tries to shoot the Schalker, but as the Schalker sits perfectly centered in the head of the Witter, the skulls that come out have no momentum. Because, you know, it tries to aim for the Schalker, but it's right there. So it just <laughs> puts the uh, right. skull there and it doesn't move. And then we just use water streams to literally flush the skulls out. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to see a blue one. Yeah, well, yeah, one I've in a thousand chance. Okay, but now comes another test we need to do. We need to actually switch it off. It's also fairly interesting. We're switching it off by <coughs> enticing the sh Schalker to actually teleport out. So... So what happens when you switch it off? I'm switching it off. Yep. Now the Schalker teleported up, gets picked <laughs> yeah. up by the minecart, and we switch wow, the target crazy. around again. Now the fence gate is open for the front ah. skull. And now, oh. you know, uh, for the front way. villager, and he aims back for the villager, and yeah, it's realigned perfectly, and the skulls get destroyed, and now the farm is actually turned off. Wow. Dude, this is nuts. <laughs> This is really, <laughs> this is like like hey let's make a sheen machine where we harvest wither skulls like for fun. I know. Like it's, what dude? This is this is crazy. Hundreds of hours though, right? To do yeah. that is uh, yeah, and there's like a millions of tricks in there. I mean Oh yeah. But mm. dude, and now as it worked for one, chances are ninety nine point nine nine percent we could we could do we could do yeah, a lot more, but I'd rather have this thing run for a few days with oh, only yeah, one yeah, in yeah. to make sure it's really safe. And if that is the case then, because, you know, I got to test flying at it from different angles, is it actually 100% reload safe as we think it should be <laughs> or what? So before I put more, yeah, definitely need to let it <laughs> run for crap, a while. man. But yeah, that is, I think that is the craziest thing. Dude, when we... You have to see when we have 64 or whatever witters in there, there's so many skulls, it literally mm -hmm. looks like a snake, right? It's That's like, cool, yeah. yeah, you know, and you can have a, a flying snake skull. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't know what's <laughs> going on anymore, man. Ooh, uh, it must be all the painkillers I've been taking because of the toothache, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. Oh, this is, oh this yeah. Is. Methods put a lot of work into that. And to know to name came and helped as well with some yeah. individual bits, but mainly methods, I would say. This is crazy. But of course, uh, a, as usual, <clears throat> you know, as usual with the tech Minecraft stuff, right? This is a combination of years and hundreds of people you know experience tricks and that's mm. that's what it yeah <laughs> i don't even okay. know yeah. i guess i'll go back to making my map right <laughs> <laughs> I plan it, listen i planted wheat today so sorry you know, get on my level hey, but, but listen beef i <laughs> called you in and there was no emergency isn't that great that's true <laughs> that's changed <laughs> that's changed i like that <laughs> more of those please oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, guys, what a crazy episode again. And yeah, before we wrap this episode up, um, yeah, comment of the week by LW. Um, Doc getting momentarily distracted from his rage by the pile of gifts is just the best thing ever. <laughs> yeah, they left me these cat ears. I mean, come on. Who cannot, who cannot, cannot love some jelly ears, right? <laughs> But yeah, I want to use this comment um, to actually make you guys a compliment. Because, well, obviously, right, when Scar and Green blew up my tunnel bar, which they will pay for, next week we'll get them. <laughs> we got the machine ready now. Uh, but, you know, if stuff like that happens, hermits get paranoid. Because, well, there's always a huge fear of the community getting mad and angry and, you know, being mean and going in on them and saying, how could you dog put someone, you know, just to spread negativity. And there was like, I don't know, on my video, there was like 4,000 comments, over 500,000 views on that video. And I didn't spot a single comment that was like, oh my God, those idiots, those, you know, being mean towards, towards Green or, or Scar. They, it was an innocent accident i mean what can you say still they have to pay for it but um yeah, it was not intentionally we are friends here i mean i not really hate them for blowing up one of my things although 
if they blew up the anvil cannon it's i'm flying to england and 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 um, you know usa and in getting them <laughs> but you know it's all fun and games and it's great to see that you as a community are in on that you know enjoy uh, these shenanigans um I will rebuild the Tunnel Boy eventually, or I'll make them rebuild it. We'll see how it turns out. But uh, yeah, next episode, we strike back. And then let's see <laughs> how they handle how they handle the Winter Skulls. All right? So yeah, thanks for being good sports and letting us have fun here as well without always being paranoid that everybody will be mad. It's a great and freeing experience for us as hermits. And yeah, with that said, I see you next week. When it's skull time, baby. Bye.